All right, artists, now we're going to create our artwork that depicts our five types of visual rhythm in the style of Wassily Kandinsky. I'm going to walk you through how to create each of these five types of visual rhythm. And when I do that, I'm going to be drawing specific shapes on specific parts on my paper. But you don't have to draw the same shapes or on the same part of your paper as I do. You can draw whatever shapes you want and wherever you want but you have to make sure it follows a specific form of visual rhythm. All right, artists, now let's jump into drawing our picture. The first type of visual rhythm that we're gonna look at is alternating. Alternating rhythm is when you have two or more different elements that alternate, which means they're bouncing back and forth between one another, like this. See how I'm drawing circles and then these curved lines? Now remember artists, you don't have to draw the same shapes I'm drawing or in the same way on your paper, but just make sure you're drawing elements that are bouncing back and forth between each other. That's an example of alternating rhythm. Our next type of rhythm is progressive rhythm. Progressive rhythm is as an element repeats, it slowly changes, but it still maintains a steady beat to it. So one way we can do this is by drawing some squares. But as I draw them, they're just slowly gonna get a little bit smaller. Our next type of rhythm is flowing rhythm. Flowing rhythm is created by using curving and organic shaped elements that change direction, they twist, and they bend in a natural feeling pattern. So when you make these flowing rhythms, just kind of let loose. Just draw nice flowing lines wherever you really want to. Our next type of rhythm is regular rhythm. Regular is when you draw similar or the same elements repeating at regular intervals. So essentially, you're just kind of drawing the same thing over and over again in a steady pattern or a steady beat. last type of rhythm is random rhythm. In order to do this one, you just repeat the same or similar elements in no pattern. So just pick some shapes and just draw them randomly all over your paper, wherever you feel like it. Once you've drawn each five of our visual types of rhythm, you can add more shapes or more elements of art to your paper. Just as long as you have these five types, you're good to move on to your next step, which is outlining all of your shapes. So you can take a marker, crayons, oil pastels, whatever you have, and we're just going to start outlining the shapes that we just drew.
artists, the very last step after you've outlined and drawn your shapes is to color everything in. I'm going to use colored pencils to color mine in, but whatever you have and whatever material you want to use to color your shapes in, you can use that. And I remember we're going to add color to our entire artwork, including our background. Artists, once you've added color to your complete image and you've represented each of your five different types of rhythm, you're all done. Just remember to add your name to the front of your picture and upload it to Google Classroom.